Hello again, this is Dwayne, and this is good stuff number 31. Good stuff you really ought to know. One thing you ought to know is about the commonality of music, the things that are that are in common uh, between styles or, or genres of all kinds of music. Uh, in the past, unfortunately, uh, those musicians with a more formal training have kind of looked down their noses at uh, those who uh, ha- didn't have the benefit of a formal training and uh, improvised. And uh, that was a serious mistake as they're, as they're learning now. There's been some wonderful teachers that have uh, uh, pointed out that the, the great masters, such as Bach and so on, were all great improvisers. And there's nothing new about improvising. People have done it down through the centuries. In fact, most written music was first improvised, and then because the composer liked what he heard himself improvise, he got it written down one way or the other. Bach would often improvise his preludes and fugues in church, and if it went well, then he would go home and write it down. And if it didn't, then he would another day would come. <laughs> and uh, uh, but in the in particularly in the last century, uh, classical musicians kind of looked down their noses at jazz musicians. Uh, fortunately, people like Leonard Bernstein and Andre uh, Andre Previn came along to. Uh, to kind of pop a bubble in that uh, that myth and and show that all music is uh, has commonalities. It's all made out of chords. It's all made out of scale fragments. It's all made out of patterns. It all has dynamics. It all has chord progressions and so on and so on and so forth. Uh, look at Furry Lease with me, if you will. So on like that. Okay. Now let's just consider the little portion that's that's right there. We have a little pattern, and then we have the A minor chord. If you add up those notes, it's A C E, isn't it? That's A minor. We're in the key of A minor, by the way. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature, so uh, it's either in the key of C or it's in its relative minor, A minor. How do we know? Well, we look for the primary chords in the key of C. Do we see them? Do we see C, F, and G? No, not in this song. We see A minor. The next chord is what? E, G sharp, B, and D. Is there a D? No, there's not. That's the E chord, isn't it? And then A minor. A minor. E. A minor. So we just have two chords. A, E, A. That's the one chord in the key of A minor, the five chord in the key of A minor, the one chord, the five chord, the one chord. Now listen. Okay, the first section of that great tune, uh, Summertime, comes from, uh, I mean, has just two chords. A minor, E, A minor, E, A minor, E, A minor. And then it goes on to the four chord, okay, which would be D minor and so on. But my point is, there's very little difference at all in the form between uh, Furry Lace and Summertime. There's a different feeling, a different rhythm and so on, but it's it's the same same chord progression. So look for those kind of things because they occur in all kinds of music. Just another one of the good stuffs you really ought to know. Thanks for being with me. See you next month. Bye.